Well, tonight, people in Highlands County are pushing back after this termination letter right here was given to a beloved Boys and Girls Club director. 10 Tampa Bay's Hand Anine has been looking into the situation for days now. And while the letter cites performance, the former director believes this was personal. My heart is big because I love what I do. For Vernetta Bolton, working with kids has been her life's calling. My ministry is to help kids, to make sure they get educated, to make sure they strive to be the best they can be. She's worked with the Boys and Girls Club of Highlands County since 2016, acting as director in Sebring from 2021 until last week. So when I went to open this letter, it said affected immediately, you're terminated. The termination letter citing a degrading performance and insubordinate behavior. In a statement to 10 Tampa Bay, the club CEO said, we take any situation that might impact the youth's well-being very seriously, but adding all personnel information must remain confidential. Bolton says her relationships with the president and CEO were tense. I didn't get the respect that I deserve in the position that I was in. But says it didn't impact her job performance. It, to me, it was about the key. The love and respect. It seemed more of like a selfish gesture that took place rather than what was good for the center and the kids. Now, parents whose kids attend the club have started an online petition to get Bolton reinstated. I can't say us as parents felt like there was any issue. She communicated, she reached out, she called. So far, collecting more than 250 signatures for a woman who they say went above and beyond. And she helped out with Christmas one year that I couldn't afford it, and Ms. Vern helped me out with my children. I don't want my character to be that I'm evil or I'm a bad person. I would love to be reinstated to come back to the club to be with the kids. In Sebring, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. We did ask the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Highlands County for an on-camera interview, but she told us she was not available. Instead, she referred us back to her original statement. That's posted right now on 10TampaBay.com.